Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Crypto Q YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be talking about the Arbitrum airdrop or the, I should say, potential airdrop because it is not fully confirmed. We know they have the Odyssey event for the NFTs, but it is highly likely that you'll see an airdrop for Arbitrum likely following suit to Optimism or at least using some of their guidelines that they used. So let's talk about a couple things here. There have been some great threads, which if you are in my Discord or if you have just reached out to me, I have sent them over to you. But you can go here to guild.xyz forward slash Arbitrum. If you go here, you'll see you can then connect your wallet. You'll have to sign a transaction. Once you sign that transaction, it does not cost any gas. You can then also connect your Discord and then it will check to see if you have the associated roles. Now, this is the official Arbitrum Discord you are connecting to, and they're going to check if you meet these requirements. Uh, it's quite interesting. If you ask me, I think they are hinting at the fact that there is an airdrop. If you also follow their Twitter account, you know that Arbitrum Nitro goes live tomorrow. Now, this is not confirming that there is an airdrop, but there's a good chance that there is an airdrop coming tomorrow or at least announcements of it. We do know that the Odyssey event will be continuing here shortly, and I'll make videos on that. But let's talk about Guild. They have some pretty simple things here. Uh, you know, to be an Arbonaut, you just had to do one Odyssey task. And then they've got for various different projects here, such as Treasure, if you hold one of their NFTs, or just a minuscule amount of the actual token. We're talking not even a dollar's worth of the token. Link Marine, holding some Link. GMX, if you have uh, any of GMX, a Blueberry Club NFT, which was an Odyssey thing. Or the, uh, actually I could be wrong on that, but if I'm not mistaken, it is the Odyssey event. Uh, some of the FS, GLP, some Tracer DAO tokens for Mycelium, which I do need to do an update on as they've had a lot of announcements recently. Dopex, if you have one of their NFTs, RDPX or DPX, Umami, uh, Finance, if you've got some of their tokens, Live Peer tokens, Jones Dow, Hop Protocol, which I do have some LP tokens there, so you hit that, and their Spirax fam. So to me, these are the ones that they're kind of giving some credit to, right? They're giving a little bit of legitimacy to in saying you know, have some of their tokens. And to me, what I see here is I'm going to meet these requirements and be in the Discord as it could be a potential airdrop requirement. And it's more activity on the chain. And if you saw the Optimism airdrop, uh, which I made some videos on, using the chain got you access to it. So if this airdrop is anything like the optimism one, this could be pretty big. Now you can go over here to l2beat.com. I've made videos on this prior and you can check the TVL for various different layer two protocols. You can still see Arbitrum one sitting at number one by a substantial margin of a billion dollars. Uh, DYDX is there, Loop Ring is there, Metis is there, ZK Sync is getting up there, uh, doesn't really have a lot of volume, uh, a lot of TVL, I should say. I've actually used it quite a bit, but Optimism, they just exploded. I mean, let's go back 180 days. We can even go back a year, but they had their airdrop and it just skyrocketed. Sitting at just about 2 billion US dollars. Now, if Arbitrum does it and they've already got 49% of the market share, I would say there's a good chance that this token could be an interesting one to watch. Now, whether or not it goes up in value, nobody knows. And I say that because nobody knows what the tokenomics are or if there is 100% going to be a token. But once they come out, you can then take a look at them and make a decision. Is it going to have a use case? Is it just going to be something that you possibly stake? Is there going to be yield opportunities like there have been now in earning Optimism token? Those are things 
something to watch out for in the near coming future as there is definitely some things to keep an eye on. You can see what they're retweeting, what they're putting out. You can see, you know, open ocean, various different protocols they are putting attention to. And you can see they're upgrading. Expect two to four hours of downtime. Guys, they're hyping this up. And this is something that I think is worth watching. Now, you know I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you to buy the token, but I'm definitely going to be going for the airdrop when I can. Um, so just keep that in mind. Now, if you do want to read... <clears throat> Now, if you do want to read a good thread on it, Olympio Crypto, who has a good amount of followers, it's someone I follow, he made a good thread on the potential RB token, along with some possible things to watch out for regarding the Arbitrum Odyssey event, how that all worked out so far with week two and week one NFTs. Then you've got things like Guild and some potential other items. So, and they will be updating this, uh, but you can see here, he is keeping it up to date as to what is going on. So keep this in mind, guys. And I, I know I'm kind of going in circles here and running through things, but it's something I don't see why you would ignore when you can complete, say, all of these tasks uh, with about, you know, we'll just say $10 worth of USDC. Um, and if you want to, you know, round up, say $20 to maybe bridge some over and get some ETH and some USDC, maybe 25 if you want to be generous to potentially get a large airdrop, in my opinion, I would do it. But you need to make that decision because, you know, if someone is particularly in a financial position where $25 could impact them, then I wouldn't recommend it necessarily because you have to make your own financial decision and your risk. Now, me personally, I do all of these potential airdrops. Every layer two that comes out, I am always using them as much as I can and I'm trying to get a feel for it, learn about it. And if I can, of course, I'm gonna go for an airdrop. Uh, so with that being said, hopefully this video has been somewhat helpful. If so, please drop a like and a comment down below and I'll catch you guys later. Have a good evening.